So in those two major chapters uh, over the last 24 years, talk a little bit about how design engineering has evolved. I mean, back in the 80s, we had design engineering software, but often you had to buy hardware to go with it to make that work. Um, product life cycles were a lot longer. Um, talk about then and, and how it's evolved and how you guys have, have gone through those phases. Yeah, um, it's definitely um, changed dramatically. Um, you know, if we go back to what we were originally, we were a printed circuit board service bureau. And we started with, um, well, the parent company, we had like six or eight guys doing board layout. And when we started uh, PDE, we had four guys doing board layout. And then we grew that to about six guys doing board layout. Now, today, I have two. Um, but I'm doing more business now. I'm doing more designs now yeah. than I did back then. Um, part of it is the strength of the tools. Like a board layout station back then would cost twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Now you can buy one in shrink wrap for like $1,500. I wouldn't do it, but you could. Yeah. Um, you know, the, so professional tools are costing from five to $10,000. Um, so what's happening is in this particular example is that a lot of um, design the layout of print circuit boards, which used to be farmed off to a specialist, now the engineers are doing it themselves. Um, and they have the tools that enable them to do that. They don't always do it well, and they don't always do it right the first time, but they can do it, whereas before they couldn't. And so that's how that business has changed. Um, another aspect would be just the size of things. Like back then, um, what I coined rack and stack. A lot of electronics used to be in you know 18, 19 inch racks, you know two, three, four, five, six feet high, and you know they just had power cables on that sucked a lot of power. Well, now you're into mobile electronics like telephones that have more computing power than what was on all those you know acres essentially or of of rack and stack electronics. So a lot of that is has has changed. Um, we're seeing a lot more. Again, because of technology, a lot more advancements in mobile power. Um, so, you know, 20 years ago, very, very few things were run off batteries. You know, just look at what the original cell phones were like, right? The old Motorola cell phone banana brick yeah. things, you could right. drive nails with those. And now we've got, you know, um, smartphones that um, can drive shuttles, right? They've got the smarts. They sure couldn't drive a nail with it, but, you know, it's a whole lot more powerful. Oh.